Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project online for the Autumn system and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I am using is the Python version 3.7 and Django version is 2 and the My, uh, MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting MySQL with Python and Django, I am using the PyMySQL and uh, you can also use the MySQL connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. Right. You can install it through the exe file or through the uh, Py, uh, pip modules right so these all are the server technologies which i have used for developing this project so it's a web-based project so because you can develop a uh, web-based project in django so for front-end development i am using the html css javascript some of the jquery library also have used like formal additions and uh, date calendar plugin integrations creating drop down menus i have used the jquery plugins right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project on food ordering system and uh, let's say start with the functionality go through that what we have developed inside this project right so the project title is online food ordering system and it's a python mysql django web based min, uh, measure dbms project measure because it has admin login as well as customer login right customer can order the foods admin can see all of the orders and customer can also manage the products right so let's just start so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a home page and this is a bootstrap theme if you open this uh, project on mobile app then the ui will not be distorted right it will be fit according to the screen size of the mobile or tab right even if you open this into the big screen then also it will work perfectly right so this is the home page of the project there is nothing dynamic on this home page everything is static here this is the about about the project right if you want to change this about content you can just open the about.html inside the templates folder and you can change it here this is a drop down menu all food items this all food items which we have added means admin have added from the admin panel and uh, there are uh, 12 uh, food items available but if you want to add more then you can add more these are the filters right and if you click on that uh, categories then the food items for that category will be displayed right okay this is a registration right and if you don't have the user id and password then you can register from this uh, page and you can order the food items without registration you can't buy the food items this is a login from where admin and customer will be able to log in this is a single login form for both means if admin logins then internal functionality will be different if customer login then internal functionality will be different so let me show you so uh, let me explain the contact us first this is a contact us this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending a type of email and sms from this page right so i am going to login as an admin first so if i login as an admin then you can see admin will be able to see the administration option right so let me so this is the dashboard of the admin admin can see food item report food item type report restaurant customer order report this all for um, operations admin can perform so let me go through one by one so these all menus are also available here so admin food items so you can see these are the food items forms right admin can add any number of items from here right food item type so admin can add food item types here like uh, chinese veg non-veg mughlai all those types of items can be added from here this is add new restaurant so restaurant name admin can add from here right food items reports all of all of the food items which you have added will be displayed here you can edit it and update it right so you can see you can update it also this is the restaurant report all of the so i think the name are different but you can change it right food type report so all of the food types which you have added will be displayed here if you want to edit then you can edit and update the food type reports here from here order report all of the orders which uh, the customer has placed will be displayed here admin can see view items all of the items right even admin can print the receipt and if admin want to change the status then add it and this one packed and dispatched or delivered you can set the 
status here right you can see the status has been displayed from here right okay so this is a customer report all of the customer customers who has registered will be displayed here if you want to edit the customer details just click on the edit and after that you can update the customer details from here right so these are all operation administration option admin can perform this is the my account section from here admin can change the password and the logout so once you log out then above administration menu will not be displayed because this is session driven let me show you if i click on the logout then above administration menu is not displaying but if i log in then administration menu is displayed right now i am going to log in as a customer so the customer user is customer and the password is test so you can see i have used the same login form for login as a customer and as an admin but internal dashboard is different right customer can see my orders and he can cancel the order and he can view the items right okay even customer can update his account details right and customer can change his password right so this is the functionality for the customer now i am going to buy some of the food items right so all food items so buy food items so you can see this is the how many items do you want to buy this one add to cart so this item has been added into the cart right and this one i want to buy also then how many items two items then two items also have. so total amount need to pay is 1120 rupees if any items you want to delete just click on the delete and that items will be deleted from the cart right and now i am going to order some more thing this one right and two then the items will be separate you can see this one right so here are two buttons proceed to check out continue shopping right once you click on the continue shopping you will you will be redirected to the page of product item shoes means food item shoes but if you uh, but if you click on that uh, let me show you that i am adding this one also then you can see this is the proceed to checkout once you click on the proceed to checkout then the card details will be appear means you need to enter your credit card details so this is a dummy payment gateway there is nothing uh, happening here but it means i am i am not validating the credit card details even i am not this is a dummy payment page right it it's not working right means a uh, it's not a real type payment so just enter anything right no need of entering the credit credit card details party date and the year and once you click on the make the payment your order will be confirmed and you can print the receipt right you can see all of your orders in the my order section right and log out so once you log out then all the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal notice, right? So these all functionalities I have developed inside this credit online food ordering system. And I, as I told you earlier, this is the Python Django and MySQL based project. And it's a major project which has admin and customer login both. Right? Customer can choose the items, customer can add the items into the cart. Okay. And after that, he can make the payment through the dummy payment gate. And admin can see all of the orders and also manage the products, means food items, types, etc right and he can also state the order status right so these are functionality i have developed if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate to change it i will make this project more better and better according to our requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos on the latest commodities thanks for watching the video thank you very much